Larry King now, Ashley Simpson Ross, and Evan Ross. We met through a friend. And At a party. At a party, yeah. We danced. <laughs> and we made out. But yeah. um, it definitely took us like a few times, I think, of meeting before we were actually. We were both doing a lot of yeah. things, and it was, and we both kept bumping into each other. We knew we liked each other. Yeah, you were on my mind. How did Diana treat you? Amazing. Right from the start? Right, yeah. She was very warm to me right from the start. And, um, she loves her. They, they have a really good... We have a good connection, yeah. Are there any things on Ashley and Evan that you have a little trepidation about? My father died climbing um, in South Africa. And Ivan climbs since his passing, and I climb on the show for the first time, so that was a, it's a, a thing. Yeah. Plus, what's the worst piece of advice you To go on SNL when I said no. <laughs> All next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. Today's guests are Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross, both known for their accomplished careers in music, TV, film, and theater. Ashley has three usually successful solo albums to her name, including Autobiography, which sold more than five million copies. She's also performed on Broadway in Chicago and acted on the big and small screens. Ashley, of course, is the sister of musician Jessica Simpson. Evan has acted since he was a teenager, starred in films like ATL and The Hunger Games, to name a few. Also a talented musician, he's the son of the legendary Diana Ross and the brother to actress Tracy Ellis Ross. Now the power couple is back in the spotlight with new music, a single called I Do, and a reality show called Ashley and Evan. Good title. <laughs> airing Sundays at 10 p.m. on E. Is this a comeback? Are you starting over? What, what's behind the whole E show? The E show, it, it's funny how it all started because it wasn't the plan. We weren't like, oh, we want to do a reality mm -hmm. show. That, I think that was the least, that, that was definitely not even not an idea at, yeah. at first. We wanted to film us making our album. We had an idea about making a duet album, and we both grew up loving duets. Like, you know, I feel like I grew up hearing all the greats doing duets, and Sonny and Cher, and Mom and Marvin Gaye, and all these people, and, <laughs> and all that stuff. And I felt like it was a nice time for that, the way the world is right now. I feel like it was a nice message to give to the world, you know, that love is good, and you know. Um, and we wanted to film it, but it, we never knew it was going to turn into a reality show. How did it? Um, well, we were filming it, and... I mean, for us, just watching just music, it gets a little boring, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. And for me, I feel like it's been a long time since I've been out. I've just been being a mother, still doing music, but just focusing on that. And so I think, you know, there was a place that I was like, I think it's okay to let the world into it was, our lives. Yeah. And it was nice to tell a story, too. I think um, a lot of what we were writing about had to do with our family. It had to do with what we were going through as a couple. How many children do you have? Well, we got two. Well, my stepson's yeah. nine and my, my daughter's three. Three, yeah. You have a daughter together? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and all of these, uh, the both kids are involved in the reality show? So, uh, I mean, yeah, that was there. the big, you know, for us it was about if they're there, they're there, but never having it highlighted around them. And, um... Yeah, it was, they were there, but it was there in a nice way. It was, it, yeah. it was, it was there when they wanted to be. It wasn't like the storyline was around them in any kind of... Even way. though they were there even more than on the show, but we, you know, didn't It's not easy that. to get a reality show on E. No. <laughs> no. But it was no. important for us to have, you know, to... And I, I feel like, truthfully, we wanted to make something that felt more like... It, it was a definitely more a documentary. I mean, the people that we had filming it had all done film mm -hmm. and documentary, and we wanted it to feel authentic. We didn't do the whole storyline thing where it was just for the, you know... Let's make something that seems like there's drama or anything like that. We really just wanted to film. It is process. like it is a lot of love. Yeah, yeah, it is a positive show, and that is something different. You know, you did it before. You did a reality. I yeah, I have done it before, and that was definitely something I never thought I would ever do again. <laughs> so it's funny that we're here, but we had a really great time doing it, and I'm really proud of it. When is is the first show been on? I yeah, guess it aired last Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. last and mom's Sunday. on there, Tracy's on there. All my siblings are on yeah, there. Yeah, our families were really supportive of it. Your families are on, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first episode was us going to actually Greenwich, Connecticut, where I grew up. Because we were actually, at the time, going to see mom and the family anyway. So we just brought the cameras, which was an interesting thing. I mean, we there was no, like, storyline to it. They were just there. 
and they're amazing and super supportive and and they knew what we were trying to make we wanted to do something that had to do with our music and love and it, it was nice do you control what goes on the screen we, we really did want to be open but definitely yeah we're yeah. in editing and all that we watched everything i mean we we were there was stuff that sometimes we weren't as comfortable with but i think it was important to and see. we chose our whole team which was yeah. super important so there was the a kardashian's team of trust. the most successful at this very yeah do, would you like to get that big you want to get that involved i don't even think it was about that yeah. for us it was more about being able to tell a story so that we can tell a story for the music and 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 it's our story and I think a lot of times people don't really know much about us. I mean, we, we weren't heavy on Instagram or Twitter or anything mm -hmm. like that. So I think being able to share our music and also get to know us at the same time, it was, it was kind of the perfect way to do it. There's a lot of music on the show? Yeah. So every episode, we release a song. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we release a single oh. every episode. Yeah. <laughs> My idea. <laughs> I take that. That was your dad. <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. And it airs on E every Sunday? Yes. Yeah. Every At Sunday. 10 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you two meet? We met through a friend. And At a party? At a party, yeah. And we danced. <laughs> and we made out. But yeah. um, it definitely took us like a few times, I think, of meeting before we were actually... We were both doing a lot of yeah. things and it was and we, we kept bumping into each other. We knew we liked each other. Yeah, you were on my mind. And then at <laughs> some point it just all became what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long are you married now? Four years. We just had our anniversary. Yeah. Did uh, the parents approve? Oh, yeah. yeah. My dad, I feel like, was like, yes, about you. He was really into it. And mom officiated the wedding. Yeah, she married us. She yeah. did? Yeah, mm hmm it's the first wow. marriage she's ever done. Yeah. She's and now good at she's it. done a lot of now. Now she's done my other siblings. Your brother yeah. and your sister. She's a minister? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was her idea too. She was like, hey, do you what do you think do you about think? if I did it? Mm -hmm. This show business combination is very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Next, Evan and Ashley will discuss fame, family, and future goals. We'll be right back on this edition of Larry King Now. We're back with Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross. The show is on Sunday nights on E, and your single is called I Do, right? Mm -hmm. That is out now. Yes. Right? Is that sort of a wedding thing? It has that vibe. It definitely has that vibe. It could be a lot of things, though. But it's, it's a trust yeah. thing, yeah. and yeah, it's kind of a universal. Okay, you had a son from a previous marriage, Yes, right? yeah. So, but Bronx. you all get along, and very much husband do. And Beautifully, everybody. like, yeah. we're really actually very blessed. And then you had a daughter together named Jagger. Yes. Yeah. Why Jagger? <laughs> Jack. There was it's a few not reasons. an everyday name. We went through a lot of different names, you know, but I mean, for me, I'm like a Mick Jagger fan and Bianca Jagger because she was cool. But, but style, I think but also your mom like had a little piece in that too. Yeah, she, the moves was like Jagger. Because Jagger was, was moving around in, in my belly. My belly. Yeah. And so her name is Jagger Snow. And we went with Snow because we were at your mom's at Christmas. No, Snow was Aspen. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Snow, because we were actually when she or, got is pregnant. Is her name Snow? Her name is Jagger, Jagger Snow. Snow. We were in between wanting to call her Snow or Jagger. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted her to have a unique name anyway, but I think Jagger. I, I love. Ma we both love mm -hmm. masculine names. Come for, for you know when it comes to f girls. How, what was it like when you introduced each other's families? You know what? It was, it was great. It was an ease, actually. I mean, you're both well known. I feel like yeah, we both like, no? have families that have. I mean, obviously, your family, you know, has been in the industry for so long. But you know, mine's been in there for a long mm -hmm. time, and I think there is like just an ease and an yeah. understanding. And how did Diana treat you? Amazing. Right oh. from the start. Right. Yeah, she was very warm to me right from the start, and um, yeah. She's an incredible mother. She loves her. They, they have a really good... We have a good connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. I think my mom sees a lot of herself in her in, in times, and I think, uh, you know, even at the time, Ashley hadn't worked in a while, and I think everybody wanted her to be back and doing her thing. And I remember my mom telling her, she goes, you know, when you're ready, you'll do it when you're ready. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't got to rush it. This is something that's, that's your choice. And and I think and that she means that about everything. Yeah. So when we started doing all this, mom's been so supportive because she really knows that it, it was like time, you know, it's when we wanted to do it. So they're very proud of your success. Yeah. Do you have a sister rivalry? No, not at all. No? I mean, we're both Sisters? grown. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, we really don't. It's so funny. I mean, we're both moms, you know, so now it's like what our kids are doing and you know that's the thing at our family events and whatnot it's really all about the kids no more teen angst <laughs> yeah there's no teen angst here yeah. <laughs> there's you no both grew up in the spotlight yeah yeah so you're used to that you've had it all your lives yeah right? yeah 
I think that's part of what uh, we had a really. I think we understand each other a lot because of that. I don't think that was the reason why we we are so close. But I do think it when it comes to things, we do understand a lot about each other and 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 you know our comfortabilities and what makes us uncomfortable. You know. Mm -hmm. Do you teach this to your kids? I mean, your kids grow up in a world mm -hmm. that's not real. Yeah. But it's the only world they know. They know. Yeah. I think my mom did. A, I, I'm, I'm thinking she did a great job with this. I know. I feel like she, she did. definitely yeah. did a great job. But I feel yes. like it, 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 it. It's just about feeling loved and making sure that. And that's the most important. Thing. It's. It is real at home, and it's. Mm -hmm. It is that. You know. It's the only life you end up knowing, and I think it, I, I th always felt normal. People was like, "Yo, what is it like to have done?" I was like, "I don't know any you other." You try mom. to hide yeah. them from the spotlight. Somewhat. I mean, somewhat. Not, I think but now that there's on television. A, yeah, they are, but, but not, not a lot. Not though. a lot. There's like in a nice little way. Little baby moments. Yeah, and then it's in a nice way, and I think it's cool because it's something documented in their life. Like, are there any things on Ashley and Evan that you have a little trepidation about? Anything we're gonna see that? Oh, you're gonna. I mean, you see a lot. Um, Come on, tell me. We have a, a father episode yeah. coming up soon. Um, this, this some stuff. We definitely decided, you know, and I think we we definitely pushed certain limits and and even for ourselves and stuff that we wouldn't normally probably talk about. You know, I, I talk about my father passing away, um, and I haven't climbed since he passed. My father died climbing um, in South Africa. And I climbed, climbed, yeah, climbing, yeah. He was a climber. He climbed all the seven peaks, Mount Everest, K2, all those. Yeah. And um, he died climbing when I was almost like 15 years old. Um, and I haven't climbed. I used to climb with him, so did my brother. My brother still climbs, and I haven't climbed since his passing. And I climb on the show for the first time, so that was a, it's a, a thing. Yeah. Um, I really cry. But I think we touch on a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I feel like what we, you know, Every piece of it at times is scary because you know you're giving yourself to the world. Mm -hmm. I know your father. Yeah. Does he come on the show? Oh yeah, he's on the show. You talk yeah. About that and well. I talk about that, and he Does went he through. Does he try to take over the show? No, not at all. No, you know it's a totally different place. You know, my dad is just my dad now. He used to be my manager, and. Um, oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so. I mean, I feel like when I had Bronx, that was then a separation, and now he's just my dad and Papa Joe to the kids. Yeah. When we return, a special round of our fan favorite segment, If You Only Knew, with Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross. Their new reality series airs Sundays at 10 on E, and the new single is I Do. Stay with us. We're back with Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross. You're gonna to have an album? Yes. Yes, yeah. The full album will drop in the fall. And we're still working on certain pieces of it, mm -hmm. but we have at least all six songs that will be released during the show. Have you ever toured together? No, we haven't. We performed together for the first time not long ago, actually performing. Yeah. It was fun. It was good. That's on the show, too, yeah. Have you put together an act? No, not yeah. fully. I mean, we have like our three songs that we've done. Now we're about to start rehearsal for. The she's full so tour. good at performing, though. She's got. She, when she's. St well, all of a sudden it starts and she's just. In this thing, <laughs> so I just got to catch it's like up. Something takes You're over. You're not naturally performing. I like to no, I like to perform, but I think she's just used. She's used to it. You know, she's toured big shows. I haven't theater, done that before. Yeah. So. Did you ever collaborate with my mother, Diana and Jeff? Oh my gosh. for sure. I think she's definitely gonna my work sister with my sister and I. Yeah, I feel like because we're sisters, our tones sound really cool together. So I'd love to collaborate with. Yeah, her. and and mom actually wrote a song that will be on the actual album with us. Uh, in the studio, and it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it, it, she, her melodies are amazing, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was great. You grew up with so much fame, right, around the yeah, yeah. Diana Ross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is special. You Good know, mother? The best mother of all time. <laughs> of all time. Okay, we play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. It's nice. not a courtroom, you don't have to answer them. You don't have to answer, but they're okay. fun. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, what's the best piece of advice you ever received? Best piece of advice. Yeah, your mom has been really giving me good advice lately. Um, I don't know. Do you... Mine's trust your gut, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Trust your gut. Follow your instincts. What's the worst piece of advice you ever got? I know mine. What's yours? Um, to go on SNL when I said no. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you I wasn't didn't good... go on or you... I had, they made me go, well, I wish I would have known. Oh, I can say no. I had lost my voice, so. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, where would we find you two on a day off? At home, on the couch. <laughs> Probably eating sushi. Eating sushi. 
I'll probably be a Matsuhisa <laughs> dojo. <laughs> you guys live in L.A.? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something people get wrong about Ashley and Evan. Uh, maybe that we 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 we're not just we're, we're just like everybody else. We we like, you know we chill. Mm -hmm. She does. She likes to go to bed early. I like to stay up late at night. <laughs> I come to the studio with like a pillow. <laughs> you go to bed early. I love to go to bed early. Yeah. I like to stay up. I'm like as soon as the kids are down, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, people people they they might think a whole lot of things. I guess they're gonna know real soon who we are, right? Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about parenthood? I mean, that, everything. I mean, the sometimes, hugs. oh yeah, the love, the snuggles. The snuggles. Jagger sleeps in bed with us still. We, we, we you know, people might say we messed up with that because she's in bed every night. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it's, but it's amazing. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's like the sweetest thing in the world. Although she sleeps like she's, I feel like they say that babies kind of sleep like they're like drunk or something because she's like upside down. <laughs> yeah, she does. Feet on my face <laughs> but it's amazing though. Yeah. Is there a least favorite thing about parenthood? Having to be away, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having yeah. to be away. Yeah. Guilty pleasure. Mm. Gosh. Oh, man, you got a lot of those. I know. <laughs> um, oh, God, I don't know. All kinds of candies. Yeah. I'm like, your teeth are going to fall out. Yeah, he's like, you're going to have no teeth. You have a sweet tooth. I she do. does. I have, I, have, I have a sweet tooth, a really bad sweet tooth, yeah. Oh, she's got like and I have to hide it from candy. the kids because I'm like, okay, I can't take you guys to the dentist like me. <laughs> you can't What's have this problem. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Um, I don't even know it's guilty. I just, I mean, I, I love hot sauce. I love all that kind of stuff. I mean, Biggest what? splurge. You probably had a few. Yeah, I've had a few. I've had a few houses that were big splurges. Um, probably house. House, yeah. Secret talent. I'm a ballerina. Really? Yeah. I grew up classically trained, yeah. Yeah, she's incredible. My leg still does the yeah. You <laughs> can do all that kicks in the yeah, yeah. Oh, she mm -hmm. can be on in Converse. She could be in a point, point with a foot. Yeah. With my leg goes incredible. all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Painting for me. Painting. It's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funniest fan encounter. Oh, we just had one, but that, when? I wouldn't want to say it because she was so sweet. Oh, what happened? Yeah, no, don't say it. Don't. Come on, what happened? No we, had, we, no, we had showed up to the place in New York, and she was, like, waiting there, but it was just, a, it was a weird kind of moment because we couldn't get into the apartment because our friend, we had left the key, and our friend was on the way. So Ashley had to spend, like, an hour outside. And, like, yeah, it, was, it was sweet, though. Yeah, yeah she's the sweetest. So sweet, yeah. Yeah, and she was so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were outside the apartment. It was good, though. We made a new friend. They were they surprised to see you standing outside? Yeah. Well, especially since you couldn't go back into the place. Just... <laughs> I'm like, well, here I am. <laughs> What's something both of you can't live without? My family. Yeah. I would say the same thing. Yeah. Anyone you'd like to collaborate with on your new album? So many. Mm -hmm. Oh, we worked with uh, Verdine White from Earth, Wind & Fire, which was Yeah, amazing. he did six songs with us, which was like mm -hmm. such a... Like, I mean, I couldn't even believe it. I was sitting in the studio with... The well, Verdine White and what is the new uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire band, and they played on everything, and we're so excited. And watching them make the songs come to life, we took the song that was once an acoustic record, and it became such an amazing song. We we ran it through analog and tape, which they don't do anymore, um, which made the record so warm. It was it was amazing. One of my all-time favorite groups. Uh, yeah. I mean, I it was just like, just and, and now yeah. he's like one of my best friends. And they're I playing to on the single I do. Verdine's yeah. playing, yeah. After the break, Ashley and Evan will answer some of your questions sent in over social media. The new show is Ashley and Evan, and the new single is I Do, and the album will be out soon, and they're going to be touring, and they're going to get on your nerves. <laughs> yes. They're going to be everywhere. That's true. <laughs> Stay with us. Thank you. We're back with Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross, a great couple. What's the boy's name? Bronx. Bronx? Son? Yeah, yeah, Bronx, yeah. Boy, <laughs> Burroughs and yeah. <laughs> Jagger. And yeah. How about how about Morris? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, we have more kids to have, yeah. you know. <laughs> how about Joe? We have some social media questions for you. Peter Erschlanger on Facebook. What are some of the biggest lessons you learned from early in your careers that you're taking into this chapter? I learned to really listen to myself and not people around you. And that's, I think, the most important thing. Trust your instincts? Mm -hmm. uh, I think for sure that. I also think, um, you know, finding the right people to be around. I think a lot of times the people you're around, uh, uh, you know, 
matter when it comes to this career. I think people can kind of make it hard to do what you need to do if it's not the right people. And, and well, right friends questions. are the family you choose. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Peter also asks, how much say did you have when it comes to what makes your new show and what doesn't? A we had a whole lot of say. Yeah, yeah we cre it was our idea. You know, it, it, we didn't know it was going to be on E or what it was going to be. Is it your own it. company? Uh, it was our company with uh, Citizen Jones who did it. Mm -hmm. um, but all the, the creation was ours, and we, we met with a ton of people. The idea was that we wanted to find a way to do something that had the aspect of reality, but also um, felt like more documentary and, and, didn't, and didn't have all the gossip and, and the, felt raw, yeah. the muck and mire of all exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> Carly Morian on the Larry King Now blog wants to know, if the show turns out to be a great success, would you be open to doing it as long as the Kardashians have? Oh, Ooh. no. <laughs> That's a long time. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, Stephen McCullough on the Larry King Now blog. What's your favorite memory of being Diana Ross's son? Every single day, I think even yesterday. I mean, my mom, is. she was just at the house and she was just reminding us to be excited about the fact that we created something that is actually happening and the music's out and all that and be just appreciative. Every day, I can't even, I mean. But she traveled a lot, didn't she? Yeah, but it was, but but that's the funny thing. We don't even remember that much. My mom, would, my mom would go do a show in London and take the Concord back and take us to school in the morning and then go to sleep, you know? I mean, she she was never not there. It, it, it was amazing. I never felt like mom, and we had nannies, we had all this stuff. It felt like my mom was there the entire time. So, if, like, you know, if she can do it... That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Carly, 1983, on Twitter. Will you guys be doing a tour with your new music? Yes, yes. that is a plan. When do you think it'll start? I think we're looking at November, right? November, yeah, around November. You got someone going to lay out the whole thing? We got people looking into it, figuring it out. <laughs> at Melissa S. 7 Jackson on Twitter, how did you come up with the name Jagger? <laughs> Mick Jagger. Does it, relate, does it relate to Mick Jagger? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The way you he both moves. love Mick Jagger. A little, little rock star. <laughs> we want, we, yeah, she's a rock star. <laughs> does Mick know? I don't know, but hopefully Mick knows. <laughs> Austin Kelly on Facebook. What was the inspiration behind I Do? The inspiration was our love. I feel like it spoke a lot to our love. We also wanted a song that felt... Uh, like a unanim like like a all all around love. It could be like you know, Mom said in the first episode that you could sing it to your kids, you could sing it to somebody you love, you could sing it to a friend. Yeah. It's it's more just about the idea that you know, I do like I do I do trust you. I do I and all the in all the aspects of a relationship. There's a song that we wrote at home too. Yeah, by the fire pit. <laughs> nice. We did like right at home outside. We yeah, wrote it on the guitar with our friend Paul Marie. You're a great couple. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much thank for having you, man. us. Big thanks to my guests, Ashley Simpson Ross and Evan Ross. Tune in to Ashley and Evan Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on E! Pick up their new single, I Do, available now. As always, you can find me on Twitter at King's Things. See you next time.